Hi, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another series review. I just watched the most recent episode of Orphan Black. It was called Scarred by Many Past Frustrations, and actually the episode itself was extremely frustrating to watch. It was just very, very difficult, and really aggravated me because I knew that Helena would do what she did, and... <laughs> she basically saved her own hide. Spoiler alert, but I just I just had a gut feeling that she would be looking after herself rather than um <clears throat> Sarah. But she had every reason to because she's been betrayed so many times in the past. She doesn't know whom she can trust. And then you've got poor Gracie who's having the time of her life with Mrs. S and Felix. And all of a sudden she has these really sharp abdominal pains. And we know she's miscarried recently, but I don't think that's what's causing this particular incident or this uh, issue. And, of course, the paramedic looks at her and her eyes are all bloodshot. They're, they're completely hematolyzed, uh, I guess that would be. I don't know any other better word for it. They're just f filled with blood, and I thought, something's ruptured and that's not no that's not good if you see that then you know that somebody does not have very long to live because a blood vessel in in the ocular area has um burst and somebody can die of that <laughs> it's not a nice way to go it's very painful um and i thought oh why would they do this to gracie these horrible sadistic writers and then of course, you've got all these all these things going on with uh, the casters and uh, the Leda clones and Dyad and um, Kazuma is uh, dating somebody from Sapphire, and they have this instant chemistry. I mean, bang! They just immediately fall for each other, and I thought, "Aw, this is so sweet." I'm glad that she has somebody and she can move on. Of course, she doesn't really unload about Delphine because she doesn't feel comfortable to reveal this to a complete stranger. But this other woman, she's she's very open and receptive, and she is uh, generous with uh, the details of her past. And she uh, <laughs> she's a holistic healer. And I thought, hmm, yeah, I can relate because. <laughs> um, those of those of us who are into that field, we realize uh, honesty is the best policy. And sometimes too much honesty can be brutally painful, but um, she's uh, very honest and open. And like I said, I, I like her character, and I'm hoping that she's not a monitor. <laughs> that would be terrible. This, this uh, episode didn't really have any thing with... Uh, <clears throat> oh, whatever the mother's name is I can't think of her name right now off the top of my head um, Angela no, it's not Angela anyway she is into the whole drug scene and her husband uh, Bob actually reluctantly reticently agreed to her, agreed with her plot to help her with that, but, um, Addison, sorry, Addison, she, uh, Addison wasn't really focused, she, Addison was not the focus of this episode, the focus of this episode was Sarah and, uh, Helena, and, uh, oh, I was, mm, I was really peeved at Helena, but I, I can't fault her, because, honestly, she's, doing what comes naturally as a um, person who grew up in, in very stark, brutal confinement and just absolutely wretched conditions from, from what she said because it, she reveals a little bit of her past. She said, at one point in time I was confined to a broom closet and I, I, didn't, I didn't crumble and I, I didn't die or 
I'm paraphrasing, and I thought, dang, girl, you are tougher than nails. Of course, I always, I always knew that from the beginning of uh, getting to know her character better, and uh, now I'm, <laughs> I have an ambivalence toward her. I don't know whether I love her or I hate her. This episode kind of made me feel both ways about her, but like I said, redeeming qualities she lacks in this particular, what well, she does when she says, what about my Sastra? And I thought, oh, you know, you can't go back because you've already escaped, so you have to run. The casters are chasing you. But this was a very emotional episode and one that just, it <laughs> just left me in utter shock. And I'm kind of wondering what will happen next because I, I saw the preview for the next episode, and I thought, oh, they're going to have Delphine return. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, the crap is about to hit the fan, people, but I haven't, well, the, that episode hasn't really aired yet, so I'm looking forward to it, and we shall see what happens next. Live long prosper. Ciao, tutti.